Tribal leaders have been clear. They're willing to sit down and negotiate with Governor Stitt if they receive something of value in return. Could that something be legalized sports betting? ONR's Jason Doyle explores the possibilities. Las Vegas has enjoyed a virtual monopoly on legalized sports betting until recently. In 1992, Congress passed the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act, which outlawed sports books in all states except for Nevada. The U.S. Supreme Court struck down that law in 2018, giving all states the right to create their own legal sports gambling markets. 19 states have done that, and almost all of them have sought advice from Nevada regulators. I'm very proud to say that we um, consistently host other jurisdictions, whether they be other jurisdictions in the U.S. or internationally. They will always want to come to Nevada to see how we've done it because we've been able to do it so successfully over so many years. States that have adopted sports betting include New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and our neighbors Arkansas and Colorado. Texas, Louisiana, Missouri, and Kansas are considering sports betting legislation this year. And so we need to make sure that other jurisdictions that are considering um, legalizing gaming or whether it be sports wagering or even other countries that are considering uh, maybe allowing gaming, that we can show the statutory and regulatory structure that we've had in place and how we're able to actually investigate the people that want to be licensed and enforce them as well. Could sports betting in Oklahoma be the bargaining chip that breaks the current impasse between the governor and the tribes? Sports betting is perhaps the most exciting new gaming activity spreading across the country. Oklahoma State University professor John Holden has written several papers on sports gambling over the years. CP3 pulling uh, up and knocking down. Right now, betting on the outcome of a Thunder basketball game is illegal, but you can bet it's happening. In 1999, the federal government commissioned a report on black market sports wagering that concluded as much as $380 billion a year was trading hands in the United States. Holden believes the actual amount is less than that. People are talking about the illegal market being hundreds of billions of dollars. In reality, what they're actually talking about is that's the total amount wagered. And even that might be inflated. More cautious estimates believe that the amount of money being wagered illegally is probably around $150 billion. Which is still a big number. However, a bookie's take is just a fraction of that amount. Historically is closer to 5%. So that is a small portion of these large numbers floating around. So those expecting to reap a windfall on legal sports betting in Oklahoma may be disappointed. It's a nice additional product. It has been shown it can bring people into casinos, but a state looking to sort of solve all of its fiscal problems by, sports bet by adding sports betting to casinos or sort of their lottery offerings are going to be sorely disappointed. The, the money just isn't there. Slot machines and table games are much more lucrative for casinos than a legal sports book. Nevada over the years is sort of between 4 and 6 percent when you start expanding out and extrapolating on the revenues that the state or the sports books actually holding for themselves. Oklahoma tribal leaders have said any deal must make financial sense for the tribes. The smaller profit margins on sports betting make it more difficult for the state to offer a mutually beneficial proposal. I think once we start looking at sort of the economics behind it, the idea that offering sports betting as a means to break the impasse, it might be a smaller offering than has been suggested by some. You know, at, at this point, everything's on the table. That's, that's designed to be part of the negotiation process. Our current compact already has a mechanism in place to add games under it. That happened in 2017 when ball and dice gaming was approved by the legislature. Close observers of the current negotiations say a sports book may be the answer in 2020. I think one possible way that this ends, um, either in the initial negotiations if they ever take place or are soon down the road, is that uh, we see sports game, sports betting and sports gaming and online gaming um, become a significant part of this conversation. Jason Doyle, the Oklahoma News Report. Now, there is still no trial date set for the federal lawsuit filed by the Cherokee, Choctaw, and Chickasaw Nations, which seeks to determine if the gaming compacts automatically renew or if they expired on January 1st. 